Okay, this is it. Time to put some stain on. Okay, so standing up in here, I'm also standing on a toolbox so I can get close enough over the helm here. Um, not the easiest place to work, but uh, relatively satisfying. All this wood is in great shape. Um, there's been some repairs. Obviously, this is not original, and the entire windshield is not original, and it was done in Douglas fir, which isn't great. Uh, I have a solution for that. But um, the main post here at the corner, massive thing is good. These, I don't know what they're called. Carlins? No. Anyway, are also in great shape. Um, really quite pleased. Just a lot of miserable little corner sanding to be done. I don't know if you can see from there, but I can see right outside through this little gap here. So there's some work to be done there. Yeah, that's about all of that you're going to want to see. Cheers. This job turned out to be about 90% hand sanding. With Well, this is easy with a block. A lot of it's been tiny little bits of sandpaper on little pieces of wood to try and get them in. Anyway, it's good. It's satisfying. It's, it's going to be great. I need a little instant gratification though at this point. So uh, I think even though I've only got it really finished to about here, uh, I'm going to get some stain on the port side this afternoon and uh, see what I think of that now that I've picked the color and uh, that'll give me a little more impetus because right now it's tough going. <laughs> it always is. Wooden boats. Cheers! First thing I'm going to stain is these uh, forward companionway doors. Um, probably the reason I'm going to stain them first is because I'm a little nervous that I'm not going to like the color and it's a little easier to sand these entire doors again than the cabin sides. Um, I've modified the color tint one more time. I've actually opted for, you can see it here, four parts uh, Sedona Red and one part Red Mahogany. These are all in Minwax um, stains. I know that's not a marine stain, but I've used it for about well, a long time and it's always served me well. And this is effectively interior and it's available five minutes from here. Okay, so this is the very first stroke. I'm using a nasty cheap uh, foam brush. I gotta put it on quick. It's very dry today, so I'll just lay this on quick and rub it off almost right away. Let's go. Yikes. Oh, it's dark. And it's red. Well, of course, it always looks extremely dark in red when you're late flooding it on like this. See what it looks like after I rub it out a bit. I was tempted to only use cloth and um, rub it in and rub it out, but I want to make sure I'm getting proper and consistent um, soaking in, whatever that word is, <laughs> coverage. So I've uh, opted for, of course it uses a little more stain and I tend to wipe most of it off again but it uh, should be more uniform. Alright, I'm going to wait uh, for as long as it takes to put this down and uh, get some paper towel and I'll begin by just rubbing a little, wiping a little off the, uh, the edges so I don't get a dark spot over there. And I'm going to uh, say by my magic calculation that uh, that's the right amount of time. See what it looks like when I, oh, that might not have been the right amount of time. Well, it's funny because it looks so dark here. As soon as you touch it, uh, it's a lot lighter. I do like that color that I'm seeing right there. but I am rubbing an awful lot of this off. It may be that I do opt for just wiping it on and wiping it off, because it's true, this is, how about some gloves, Peter? Well, I 
tell you, I'm liking this a lot. An awful lot. Um, wow. I think I'm just going to have to uh, accept that I'm going to be a, a red-handed mess today. That is gorgeous. Um, again, I don't know if you're catching the light the right way to really appreciate that properly, but that is exactly what I was looking for. Wow. Wow. Thank God, because I've been more than a little nervous about it, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Probably knew that. You can't see that. Or maybe you can. Let's swing this around a little bit. And uh, look way down there. This isn't exactly the best photography I've ever done, but uh, that is uh, that is nice. I like that a lot. And by the time they get some um, oil on it, I'm going to be pretty pleased. Pretty pleased. Hey, all right, all right. So let's uh, put a whole lot more stain on. Okay. I'm so thrilled with the color, I can't believe it. Um, so I'm gonna jump right in and stain the cabin sides. <sighs> wow, more than a little stressed about this. Anyway, I think I've told you that before, it's time to just do it. Um, before I do, I'm just gonna, I've been blowing out all the dust out of all the little joints uh, quite a bit, so there's not that much left. As soon as I start doing this, you won't be able to hear me because as soon as this starts, the compressor will start. But anyway, let's get this done. Okay, let's do this. I've uh, devised a scheme uh, for laying it on a little bit thinner. Basically, I broke the handle off the sponge um, uh, brush and I just use it like a sponge, basically, which means I can apply a little more pressure and thin it out a little bit. And got to keep moving, so I always have a wet edge. So I don't know how far I'm going to go, just a couple of feet, maybe not even that much. I'll come back and I'll wipe it down and here we go. And it begins! I'm loving this color. Absolutely love it. Or tint or whatever you want to call it. call out a section, take a piece of paper towel, and I'm going to assume that here is far enough back that uh, I can start to rub it out. Whoa! The genuine mahogany really takes it up. Like, really takes it up. Wow. So it's going to be pretty dark there. Oh well. Staining is a bloody science and an art, one that I've never really mastered. Um, considering I've built a lot of houses and done a lot of staining, I uh, always feel a little bit, um, well, anxious. <laughs> feel a little bit like, why don't I get any better at this over time? It's probably because I don't enjoy it. God, I love the color. I hope this is looking half as awesome to you folks as it is to me. Love it. So now what I do, I take the semi-soaked um, cloth from the last section and I move along. So I'm never putting a really dry, or trying to put a really dry uh, cloth paper towel on uh, a new section. In an effort to keep from wiping it off too much, but I'm, this is going quite well. For all my loathing of staining, I've, I've uh, had more miserable staining projects than this, I can tell you. Staining the floor today, we've been working on, we, I say we, but these are the masters who's been looking after this floor. I've been driving around buying stain. So we got the oak floor just about stained. You can see past this uh, collection of fine gentlemen. Hi. Hi, says Todd. Uh, so there's the uh, the finished stain. 
I'm thrilled. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Of course, there's always a little bit of stress when you start uh, a project of this scale. So uh, I've been stressing pretty bad a couple of days, and I think maybe a couple of the other guys might have been wondering how this was going to go, but I'm, I'm really, really pleased. And uh, on the whole, it's looking fantastic. Check in later. See you. So far, I can say that uh, the stainable filler and the wrong bungs I've used have uh, stained quite nicely. That bung right there isn't the right color, and it seems to look just fine. That's all going to be covered up by kitchen counter. I, I can hardly bear to do it now. Let's put some more uh, stain on. You can sort of tell when it's you're getting into trouble. You can start to feel the stain dry, and it starts to drag under the brush or sponge or whatever. Okay, I brought you back for the last section. Uh, this is going really well, really, really well. Um, fast, easy, the stain is very forgiving. Gotta keep swirling it a bit because it seems to be separating a little bit in here. Um, I, I really have nothing to add other than mop it on, wipe it off, and it looks like a million dollars. Now, on the other side, I'm not gonna turn you around right now because my hands really don't um, suit that particular activity. Uh, it's drying out now because the stain is dry and it's lost its sheen. It's not looking as beautiful. Of course, it'll look beautiful again as soon as I get some oil on there. But um, as it goes on and I'm rubbing it out and I see what it would look like oiled, man, it's gorgeous. All kinds of people coming by, drop by, checking it out. Everyone seems very clean. So let's do this last section. Done. Absolutely love it. Fantastic. Beer time. Cheers. I am over the moon. Over the moon. Partly because it's gorgeous and partly because it's done. <laughs>